Hi and welcome back to another football shirt review. Today we are looking at the Chelsea home shirt from the 22-23 season. You can see we do have a name and number on the back of this shirt. The shirt itself comes in a night bag and on the flip side we have our usual health warnings. Now, the shirt was purchased off DH Gate and it took 10 days to arrive which is absolutely amazing. So if you are new around here, please hit the subscribe channel. I do these sort of reviews on a weekly basis. Also hit the like button, it helps get my content out there further. Also leave any comments, messages below of any shirts you'd like me to review, or any comments about this one or DHgate in general, I'll always respond. So thank you very much, and what we'll do is we'll get this bag open, and we'll have a look at the Chelsea home shirt from the 22-23 season, with Mason Mount on the back. So we start at the top looking at the collar. Now, as you probably know, I do like collars, um, but this one, it doesn't do it for me at all. I'm not overly sure what Chelsea are trying to do with this one. If anybody knows, if there's some design behind it, then please let me know. Um, but in regards to the actual collar, it's okay. There's a little bit of a white stitch in there. We do have a single button, and on the button, it said the blues, I think. Chelsea badge. It does look like it's on the tilt, but it's not. It's just the way the shirt is hanging, and that's been sewn on. Likewise, the night tick has been sewn on. Number three, the kit sponsor. Here's a heat pressed on. Looking at the sleeve lines. Really good. And jumping over to this one, we have a sleeve sponsor. Whale fin, which has been heat pressed on. And under the arm looks absolutely fine. No stitching issues at all. So we move to the bottom. We have a Nike engineered tag, which has been heat pressed on. The hemline itself looks really good. What we'll do is we'll zoom out and give you the overview of the shirt. I said the Nike tick and the Chelsea badge do look off, but that is just because of the way the shirt is hanging. When laid out flat, they look absolutely perfect. So let's flip the shirt over and we'll have a look at the back. So continue with the collar line, which is fine, I just don't like it. And so we have name and number, we have mount, which has been heat pressed on, feels really smooth. Likewise, the number 19 heat pressed on, feels really nice. There are some creases in it, as you can see, but that's just where the shirt's been in the bag. It's not from the way that it's been put on at all. To be fair, this is probably one of the most creased shirts I've had. Jump to the bottom of the shirt. Again, all looks good. Oh, you can just about see my hand through it, which gives you an indication of how thin the material is. It is quite lightweight, but it's really nice. Just give you the full overview of the back of the shirt. And we'll flip it inside now, out and have a look. Okay, we're now on the inside, just looking at the collar line. Stitch is not too bad at all. Got a little bit down there and that side, but all in all, I think it's fine. The button looks okay. Chelsea badge itself, you can see where the stitching meets. It's quite a little bit of a loose threading around the outside, but nothing to worry about. Likewise, a night tick. Um, not a very good night tick in regards to the amount of stitching that's left over, but I would just get my pair of scissors to sort that out. Under the arm looks fine. A little bit of additional cotton there, which again, pair of scissors will soon sort out. Likewise, I've got a little bit there as well, but nothing to worry about. Got our usual washing instructions, hand wash only, on and have the shirt inside out. That will preserve the life of your shirt. And the engineered tag is just there. Number three sponsor, so you can just about make it out. As I said earlier, there are creases, but that's just where the shirt's been in the back, so nothing to worry about there. Let's give you the full view of the inside of the shirt and we'll flip it over. Okay, we're on our final part of the inside. Colour looks okay. Again, some additional stitching cotton there. And we've got a Chelsea FC London, which has all been heat pressed on. It says an XL, but it is going to be more like a large. Likewise, we've got our tickets here. Exclusive product Nike Chelsea. Again, XL, but remember, it is going to be like a large because it's a DHG shirt. Where mount is printed on there, 
think it's all okay. Just checking for any creases. So the creases are from where the shirt's been in the bag, but I think the pressure has been put on quite well, actually. Um, one thing we didn't look at was the sleeve sponsor, which you cannot see at all. So we know that they've been put on okay. All in all, yeah, not a bad shirt. So there we have it, the Chelsea home shirt from the 22-23 season with Mason Mount on the back. Um, in regards to the shirt itself, I've seen better. Um, quite a bit of loose stitching on it, but it's okay, especially for the price. Um, I'm just really not a fan of the sponsor, in all honesty. Um, but I say, where the badge and the Nike um, look slightly wonky, that's just because of the way I've got the shirt hung up. So it is perfectly put on there. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have then hit the subscribe button and like it um, i do these sort of reviews on a weekly basis so i leave any comments questions messages below around this shirt or any shirts in general that i've done i'll always respond and if there's anyone you'd like me to do please let me know this was a request to have a chelsea shirt of a name on the back so hopefully you are still around watching if you are there you go hope you've enjoyed it so yeah we'll wrap this one up so thank you very much for watching and what i'll do is i will see you in the next one